This is 1961, IMO problem number 2, and here is a view of this problem. Let ABC be the sides of a triangle, and its area be given as S. Uh, we would like to prove the, uh, this inequality. Um, so, uh, there are multiple ways to prove this, and this is, uh, by the way, a very well-known uh, uh, result. Um, I, I will provide uh, two different proofs that I enjoy. Um, one of them is is totally constructive uh, and, well, okay, so um, it's based on the idea that any triangle, uh, you, you can um, consider any triangle like this, ABC, and you drop the altitude of this triangle, let's say the A altitude, um, I claim that it's always possible to uh, to drop an altitude to the opposite side. At, even when the triangle is an obtuse triangle, one of the altitudes should lie inside the triangle. And uh, you just reorient your triangle such that uh, you focus on that altitude. But if the triangle is an acute triangle... Um, then you don't have to worry about that. Obviously, all three uh, altitudes would work. But when when the case uh, uh, you have an obtuse triangle, just pick the altitude which remains inside the triangle and let it uh, let it uh, hit the opposite uh, side. And uh, and okay, so we have we know that this side measures a. Oops, the whole thing. But what I did is I, I, I'm splitting it into two parts. Let BD be is equal to M and DC equals N. We know that this side is BC and this side is B. Now what I will do is I will have a parametrization of A, B and C in terms of M, N and sorry for that and the h, the altitude h. So replace all the a, b, and c and re-express them in terms of m, n, and h. So let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, uh, our inequality, let's call it the star. So star is equivalent to, so a is just m plus n, so therefore I have m plus n squared plus b squared. So b squared is just h squared plus n squared by uh, pi tag, uh, h squared plus n squared, and c squared here, c squared is just h squared plus m squared, uh, h squared plus m squared, and we would like to show that this expression is greater than or equal to uh, 4 times s, so the uh, area, the area of this triangle is the base times height over 2, which is m plus n times h over 2, so 4 times 1 over 2, m plus n, times h and we still have a root 3 here so therefore uh, we would like to show that this inequality uh, holds I claim that it's easier to show this one hold than rather than showing this one now what we need to do is obviously bash it out all the way and uh, in fact I will rearrange the terms such that I will interpret this as a quadratic in h Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I will have an h square here, another h square here. I will have a 2h squared. Uh, so this is equivalent to 2h squared. And please follow my algebra and let me know if I, uh, if I mess up the algebra, which I do quite often, as you know. These two, we have a 2 here. So therefore, uh, for, for the h, uh, the h term will have, so we'll have minus... Uh, 2 times m plus n times root 3, right? Um, so probably I can write it like this, minus 2 root 3 uh, m plus n times h. And finally, I have all the constant terms. And so that would be equal to plus. So I have m squared plus n squared plus 2mn, right? So let's write that. And then there's also... Um, n squared here and m squared here. So in total, we have 2m squared, 2m squared plus 2n squared, right? M, n squared here and n squared here. Um, and then plus 2mn. And we would like to show this is greater than or equal to 0. Like I mentioned earlier, we want to treat this as a quadratic. Oh, before I do that, I just realized that all the terms has 2s in them, so we can just get rid of them. Now, you have a quadratic in H. So uh, we can um, what to do? We you might so so let, let's make note of this. So this is a quadratic. So this whole thing 
is a quadratic so I'm reinterpreting it as a quadratic in uh, in H so what I do is I will uh, I will do the following. Instead of just using the quadratic formula, I will instead complete it to a, to, to, a, uh, to a perfect square, right? I have an h square here, and then I have this second term involving h. So uh, in order to complete it into a square, uh, you guys all remember how to do it. You just take this uh, term in front of h, divide by 2, and then square it, right? So, so therefore, I have h square minus, I can treat this as 2 times root 3 over 2, uh, m plus n. Uh, times h plus and minus so plus I will add the square of this expression which is 3 over 4 3 over and I hope I won't do a silly mistake along the way uh, um, right squared and then I will subtract that does everyone see what I'm doing um, and then I, I still have those other terms so plus m squared plus n squared plus m n and still need to show this is valid right so that's what we need to show awesome so thankfully this is a perfect square so this is equivalent of well this is just h minus root 3 over 2 times m plus n squared uh, and then all these expressions on the second term. So, uh, well, obviously, I, I need to be careful on the bashing part here. Uh, I have m square here. I have uh, m square, but then I, it has a coefficient minus root three, minus three over four. So I have one over four, right? So plus one over four, I, and I have a one over four m square, obviously, and I will have also one over four n square, right? So because of it's symmetric. So one over four m square plus n square and now uh, last term I will have 2 mn divided by 4 it will be mn over 2 times 3 3 mn over 2 so minus minus 3 nm 3 mn over 2 let me write, make note of that and then I have another mn here which is 2 mn over 2 when you add these it's just minus mn over 2 right and then factoring out the 4 is just a minus 2 mn does that make sense so therefore, I can get rid of all this and would like to show this is greater than or equal to zero. Indeed, we just realized that this is just a perfect square. So let's just go ahead and write it in a perfect square form, which is just m minus n squared. m minus n squared. Hey, this 4 is also available. It's a square. So let's do it. Finally, we can do it like this. And boom. And Wow, which is obviously true, right? So, and we're done, right? So, our goal was to show that this was greater than or equal to 4, which is indeed true because we have a square here, greater than or equal to 4, 0. This is greater than or equal to 0, and boom. We have uh, we have just proven uh, the desired inequality. Notice that the question has this additional question, um, equality condition. So, we're interested in figuring when the equality condition holds. For this uh, sum of two squares to end up being equal to zero, both of them should be equal to zero. Uh, and obviously, so this one to be equal to zero, so uh, equal to zero if uh, m is equal to n, obviously, right? And when m is equal to n, if you want to make this equal to zero, well, first of all, because m and n are not equal to each other, this is just two m n, and the two cancel each other out. So therefore, if uh, we just realized that h minus root 3 over 2, and then we said this is 2mn, the 2's cancel out. So we need this expression to be 0, right? Inside of the square should be 0. And which is just, this implies that h is equal to root 3m. So, uh, summing up, uh, what we need is in our triangle, so let's redraw our triangle. Uh, first of all, we want the altitude to bisect the opposite edge uh, and further we want the altitude to have this length so let's be careful here so we have our base we want to bisect it so we have our altitude so this is m this is m oh gosh what's going on <laughs> okay so this is m this is m so that's the vertex b vertex c and vertex a would be such that and this is root 3m so the altitude is root 3m, which is uh, probably like this. And this is the point A. Now, what does that tell you about this uh, triangle? Remember, this is the altitude. Let's call this point D. 
obviously we have m root 3m and if you apply pi tag this one would be 2m but this tells us this is a 30 60 90 triangle right and the other one is also a 30 60 90 triangle so what is the final conclusion this is just an equilateral triangle right so therefore equality condition holds uh, equality holds uh, if uh, triangle ABC is equilateral now that uh, solves the problem so uh, this is in a sense in a constructive way we build up our thing and we were able to optimize it without using calculus obviously right so usually most of these things uh, once you have this uh, quadratic form it is tempting uh, to just use calculus take the derivative set it equal to zero but luckily using the trivial inequalities and making this uh, this completing to square type of trick we were able to optimize an alternative way, like I promised at the beginning of the video, uh, an alternative solution uh, will take care of this optimization in, in just a nice way. So, um, we would just... Uh, um, so this is the expression we want to prove uh, obviously we want uh, so so the proof has to do with the area so our area expression is here so let me rewrite this hold on so let me rewrite it like this so we want the area uh, to be a gr uh, gr less than or equal to a square plus b square plus c square divided by 4 root 3 right so less than or equal to 4 uh, sorry uh, a square plus b square plus c square over 4 root 3. In a sense, I want to uh, find the maximum of my area. But remember that, um, uh, consider the following. Let uh, the uh, perimeter of that triangle, of triangle uh, ABC, uh, be equal to b uh, equal to... Uh, P. Let's say it's P. Now, my question to you guys would be, among all the triangles whose perimeter is P, uh, um, the one with uh, the, um, so, uh, the the one which has the largest area would obviously be uh, an equilateral triangle, right? So therefore, huh? so th this is a well-known result. It's known as the isoperimetric uh, theorem, right? So among uh, amongst all triangles uh, with perimeter uh, P the one with the uh, largest area is the uh, equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so that's an important result but because the perimeter is P so this equilateral triangle with side uh, side length uh, obviously the side length would be just P over 3. So therefore I have my optimization there. So therefore, so thus, uh, so therefore we have the following situation. So we already know S is less than or equal. This is what we need to prove. But at least I know from this isoperimetric theorem that S is less than or equal to P uh, over 3. That's the max, right? Square root 3 over 4. So um, this is the area of this equilateral triangle that we have just mentioned. So that gives us p square um, uh, over nine over over three over twelve. Is that is that right? So that should give us p square over twelve. Yes. So that's exactly um, uh, uh, the, the the maximum uh, that the s can hit. And obviously the equality condition will hold when our triangle is an equilateral triangle. So we have already addressed uh, that part of the question. So the part that's missing is to show that indeed uh, this expression p square over twelve is equal to this one. Okay, um, well, obviously, um, one way to express this is the following. So let's try to see if we can express P uh, or P squared. Let's focus on P squared. And then we can just divide the, the whole thing by 12, obviously. Um, so P is obviously the, the perimeter, which is A plus B plus C squared. So um, when we square this expression, you guys can do it, obviously. Uh, it gives us 2 times AB plus 2 times BC plus 2 times CA. 
Um, so that expression is uh, useful, but still it doesn't give me the form that I need. Indeed, I need to get rid of these terms, right? So everything is looking cool, but these terms are uh, not, not the ones that I need. Uh, indeed, I can get rid of these terms by simply... Um, well, just simple algebraic manipulations, obviously. Uh, one way to manipulate it is to uh, observe the following. Uh, consider the following expression. Uh, B minus C square plus C minus A square. Indeed, when you expand this expression, we'll have A square here, another A square here. So I will have 2A square plus I will have B square, another B square. So 2B square and similarly 2C square. And now let's look at the other terms. I have minus 2AB here. So minus 2ab and similarly minus 2bc and minus 2ca. And now you can see the beauty of this uh, expression because now I can simply uh, add these two uh, expressions. So when I do so, so if I add this, uh, is call it 1 and 2. If I add 1 and 2, obviously the left hand side will be p square and this uh, long uh, bashy expression. So I have p square plus uh, a minus b square plus b minus c square plus c minus a square that is equal to um, and on the right hand side I will well all these terms will obviously nicely cancel each other out so I will have 3 times a square plus b square plus c square so therefore um, uh, right, right, right. And further, uh, this implies, well, look, look at this. This is greater or equal to zero. This is greater or equal to zero. This is greater or equal to zero. If I remove these terms, the left-hand side will get smaller. So bp square is definitely less than or equal to three times a square plus b square plus c square. Now I can go back to my expression and I can substitute that. So if I replace p square with this expression here, obviously my, uh, uh, so it will be, like this, so I just replaced p square with um, the whole thing, p square with this expression, and now we can divide by 12. Obviously, now these two will. Uh... Oh shoot! So what am I doing? I needed to show this, right? So um... no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so therefore, that's it. So that's just equal. So there's a four remaining here. So we get a square plus b square plus c square over four. Is that what we, um okay so I messed up um okay so where did I mess up as usual <laughs> uh, uh, so what did I do wrong this time ah oh, okay so I believe this is true ah oh. So this must be true for sure because I don't see anything wrong here. Um, so that's an... Oh! Oh! So this is wrong. Okay, so that's a 9. So 36 here. So 9, um, 12. I think I'm missing a root 3 here, right? Uh, uh, wait a second. So let me just expand it carefully. Okay, hold on, guys. So that should be really p squared divided by 9 times 4 is 36 and I should have a root 3 here sorry for that so um, right right so uh, in, in fact I can even uh, cancel these two right so root 3 so this one is just 3 times 12 obviously and then this root 3 will cancel with this 3 and I will have a root 3 here so it's 12 root 3 sorry my apologies not 12 only 12 root 3 so therefore, the, I, so there's a 4 left here, but there was another root 3 here that I missed. Sorry, guys. Okay, so there you go. And indeed, this is, so we just established that the area of our triangle is always less than or equal to this expression. Early on, thanks to this isoperimetric uh, theorem, we established that the equality condition holds when we have an equilateral triangle. And now we established the result, which is indeed the, uh, the desired uh, result that we wanted to prove that so that solves this uh, beautiful problem hope you enjoyed the video and looking forward to see you guys uh, in our next uh, lecture